What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. And today, we're gonna be doing some prison cooking. This is actually the first prison cooking video we're gonna be doing in the new house, in the new kitchen. And Rabbit, what do you think, uh, what do you think of the setup? I really like the setup, I dig it, man. It's like, yeah, it's way better than the one you had at the old, at the old place. Right. And it's a lot more room, so yeah, it's great. It's a perfect setup to cook. Damn right. Perfect setup to be doing some prison cooking videos. Now, as of late, the only prison cooking videos we've been doing have been like the prison cook-off videos. And, and what have you been thinking about that whole experience? You know, I really enjoyed the prison cook-off videos, Joe. Um, I really enjoyed the competition. Well, I've only done one, but, you know, I really like beating Dave. There you, you know, go. So... Well, even though the prison cook-off videos are fun to do, we're going to get back to some official, exclusive, authentic after prison show prison cooking. And today, what we're gonna be doing in the prison kitchen is cooking Rabbit's favorite prison meal. Most definitely, a meal that I have cooked so many times that I've got the ingredients and the know-how etched into my brain. So that would be called institutionalized. <laughs> Most definitely institutionalized. Heck yeah, so what is this meal that we're getting ready to cook today? So uh, we're getting ready to do a traditional Mexican pizza that is going to be the finest meal on the East Coast. I don't think Gordon Ramsay would agree with that, but touche. We're gonna to be cooking a prison Mexican pizza today. This is Rabbit's favorite prison meal while he was locked up. And what are we gonna to need to cook this meal? We've got a bunch of ingredients right here. So Rabbit, tell us what we're gonna need. So this is what we're gonna to need to cook this meal, okay? First off, you're gonna need your your handy dandy ramen handy noodle soup. Handy dandy ramen noodles, the major ingredient in this meal. One up. How many how many soups are we gonna use? We're we're gonna use two soups. Only two. We're gonna use two soups as for a base and a top layer. Okay. On, but we're also gonna use saltine crackers. Or in this case, the cheapest saltine crackers that I did I didn't even knew, know that these existed. We've got the Cha-Ching saltines. The best in the business, and I have seen these used in prison somewhere. My memory is not what it used to be. These were 79 cents a box at Food Lion, folks. So we've got the saltines, we've got two ramen noodle soups, what else? So we've got traditional cheese curls, or in this case, off-brand, Food Lion brand, crunchy cheese-flavored corn snack curls. We're these were like a dollar. We're definitely going to need these. These are also in the base. Okay. So that makes up our bases, okay? The noodles, the crackers, and the chips make up the base. Okay. All that's gonna be the base, so that's gonna be your dough. Then for fillings, we're gonna have a onion, which you that's, can get out of the prison kitchen if you know the right people. That's a big onion right there. An onion in prison is usually gonna cost you how much? A dollar, dollar fifty? You probably can get that onion for two dollars. It's pretty big. That's a huge onion. And based upon the size, that's gonna definitely play into the cost. Yes, it is. We also have a very large bell pepper that we're gonna use because you can also get this out of the kitchen if you have the right connection, you know the right people. Right. So, and this is a very large bell pepper as well. That's a $2 bell pepper all so day. So you're definitely gonna pay $2 for that. If not more, maybe two fifty. dollars Maybe. We have the exclusive traditional prison pickle in prison, a bag. Prison pickle in a bag. All right, we've got some salsa so as well. We've got salsa, definitely got to have salsa. We have the traditional summer sausage. Got to have that. That's a must. Got to have your meats. Got to have the meats. This is more for garnish than taste, but it also tastes good in the pizza. Garnish. That was a powerful word right there. In my personal opinion, ranch on any prison meal, it's going to make that meal just that much better. Extremely. Yes, sir. So we also have traditional refried beans that are not in the bag the way I like them but we got to go with what we can get at this time. When you're in prison, you're going to get the freeze-dried beans. We can't find those anywhere, but we've got just a can of refried beans. We've got some cheese and as well. And we've got the jalapeno cheese that plays a major role in this meal. Yeah, it's going to definitely add to the flavor. We forgot the, uh, the chili. Oh, we've also got the chili, which is not in the bag. I wish it was. It's traditional that way. However, we must use what we can find. Yep. So... And we have an original 
<laughs> An original. Everything's original, ain't it? Prison cooking bag. Everything's original, bro. <laughs> Most definitely. This is an original meal. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. I don't want no problems, right? Prison cooking bag. We got a chip bag. We we've got some Tupperware. We've also got Tupperware, which you can have when you're incarcerated. Sometimes with no lids, they take them from you. Do they? Yeah, sometimes they do, yeah. I've been in places where they don't even give you a lid for your bowl. Gosh, what is wrong with prisons? How are you going to cook a meal if you ain't got a lid for your bowl? And we've got to have... The jalapeno. The jalapenos. You got to have the jalapeno peppers. The jalapenos. All right, so I think that concludes everything that we're going to need. What is the first thing that we need to do? The very first thing you need to do when cooking a fine prison meal... It's wash, wash your, hands. your hands. Boy, I like that. Yes, sir. That's there the we go. very first thing we need to do is wash our hands. Or find some gloves. Right. In this case, we can't even find no soap. We can't find it over there on the table. Oh, we got some soap, some soft soap right we'll, here. We'll, we'll go with the soft soap. I mean, you're not going to find this in jail, but we'll work with it. I ain't going to lie to you. I used the bathroom earlier today. I did, did not you? wash my hands. You didn't? I didn't even I'm have any toilet paper. I'm ashamed of you. So I, I had to use my hands. I'm ashamed of you, Joe. Well, I mean, I mean, at least you can get them clean now. Well, you're not going to be touching any food, are you? <laughs> it's garnish. <laughs> okay. I like that about you. So evidently, we're going to have a new ingredient, people. <laughs> Salmonella. Yeah. Ebola. <laughs> Ebola. Poison. All right, Rabbit, we've washed our hands. Now what? Okay, so we need to get our ingredients opened and prepared and have them ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we've got this can open, we're gonna open this one. If it was in a bag, it'd be much easier. Can't get can openers in jail. But if you could though. Oh my God. Yeah, you can make a nice tool with this. This would be an everything tool. Man escapes prison using only a can opener on the next episode of After Prison Show. My God. So we open our ingredients. It's always look like Play-Doh. Yeah. So we're gonna take this bowl. This is gonna get the water in it. We put water in it. Throw it out about right here. Put it in the microwave. Get the water get hot. Get the water hot. All right, you do that. You want me to crush up the noodles? Yes, please. I would smash them on the floor, but I just had these floors done, so I'm not gonna do that. So when you crush up these noodles, Joe? Yes. You've got to know that this this bowl may not be big enough. You've got to know that they have really got to be crushed up very fine. Okay, I got you. Okay. I'll do my best. All right, and what you can't do, I'll finish. I've already got a hole in the bag, Rabbit. We're already having problems. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of that, Joe. Now, how fine do these noodles really need to be crushed up? They don't need to be dust, do they? No, they don't need to be dust, but I'm going to make sure that they're crushed up the proper way. And I, you're doing a, a great job. However, they, you know... I did, I, I, you did a really good job here. Well, I, these uh, uh, these will work as they are. Yeah, you did a great job. You, watch you, out, there's a hole in the so, bag. So you've done this before? A time or two, <laughs> for sure. Okay. So we're going to open these crackers up because we've got to have a sleeve of crackers. Boy, these joints look like sandpaper. And they will get crushed up as well. How many times have you crushed up crackers in a bag and that bag busts open and them crackers go everywhere? Oh, my God. Yeah, a lot of times until you learn how to do it. But once you learn how to do it, the bag don't bust open on you no more. And as I say that, there goes another bag of noodles. Yeah, that's all right. Up, oh, up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. Oh, it's not open, Joe. No, what you mean it's not open? It's not open. There's a hole right there. I'm looking at the hole right here. Yeah, but the bag's not open. <laughs> it's just because it's got a hole in it. They're defective. They might even be stale. That's because they were 79 cents a box. Right. So these get crushed up really fine, as the noodles do. And these go all go in the cooking bag together. Cool. So I think I'm on track with you as to what we're doing with this base. All right. We're gonna mix these noodles with the crackers. With some cheese curls. So we're gonna crush those we're up too. We're gonna crush these up too. We wanna try to keep a bag, a soup bag to crush the cheese up in. Okay. You know, without destroying them. Okay, so these are ready to go. You wanna check that boss? Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, you did a fine job. We're gonna roll with that. So. We're gonna open it like this here at the top. That way it don't tear the bag apart. All right, so am I gonna put this whole sleeve in here? The whole sleeve. Whew. That's a lot of starch right there, buddy. Yes, it is. This is gonna make a magnificent meal. 
Now, are we going to put any seasoning in here? Yes, we are. So we're going to use the beef season. Well, we got a seasoning we're pack use in here. Chili seasoning pack. That's what uh, we're going to use. The oh, well, it's a Mexican seasoning. pizza. Of course. Hold on, man. I'm in my oh, groove ready? over here. Stay in it. Don't move. Not rabbit. Stay the stuff in the groove. Is going everywhere. Don't worry about it. Stay in the groove. You're doing good. That way, you got to mix it all up together, Joe. God, rabbit. You should have let me keep. <laughs> <laughs> Something else that you probably should keep in mind is when you're cooking a prison meal, you want to have a smile on your face as well because for a lot of prisoners, it's not going to be every day that they're able to cook a prison meal unless you're a prison boss. Well, yeah. if you're if you're if you're balling in prison, unless you're balling, or if you're the pod chef. Uh, yeah, that's true. Now, what exactly is the pod chef's job? He cooks the meals for the other the, prisoners. The pod chef is the guy that people bring all their ingredients to, and he does the cooking and he gets his portion right off the top. So, if you don't have a good prison hustle, but you know how to cook, you can eat. You can definitely eat. I'm gonna tell you, I had. I had one or two guys who used to cook for me because toward the end of my incarceration, I was something of a boss. I wasn't. I believe that. I wasn't balling more than other prisoners, but I was balling in my own regard. I believe that you were something of a boss, Joe, because you've got that type of personality. You know, you've, Rabbit, got, that, you've got the boss personality, Joe. Right, but that really meant a lot to me. Thank you. Know, you. What, what, that's not a problem, Joe. You know, nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Most of the time they tell me I'm You're a horrible. A dick. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. They hate me. This is why you don't have any friends, but thank you. That was a really nice thing that you said. Yeah, you know, that comes from my heart, yo. <laughs> you do that? Sounds like it came out your ass because it sounds like straight bullshit. <laughs> all right, I think I got these right, good and mixed. Right. Let's go ahead and add those, oh. and that water is done. Oh, yeah, so we're going to add these as well. We're not going to add the water quite yet. Is there something else that we need to add? No, we need to mix these up in here with, this, with the base. Okay, now we're good. Now hold, we're good. On, hold on, hold on. Now we can add the water. I don't think you really mixed that up too well. Oh, it's mixed up good because it was just a few of them just to add a little texture and a little flavor. Is that better? Is that yes. better? You got it? No, I think you need to do it one more time. How about that? There you go. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so. We're at a very critical step right now, so we definitely need to take... Uh, special precautions with adding the water. You definitely do. So our hands are clean. We've washed our hands. So we're gonna make sure the water's hot enough. You and just it, stuck. And, and it's not. So it needs to go back it in the It needs to go back in the microwave. I, I think that water's pretty warm. That water's not hot enough to cook with. That water needs three more minutes in the microwave, Joe. God bless it. Well, I, I'm not in control of the way your microwave works. Hey, don't talk about my microwave. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? Okay, so, well, while we wait on my incompetent so, microwave. So, trash. Okay, so, the next thing we're going to do. Whoa, 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 what you doing with that razor? Hey, you're not supposed to see that, man. What you doing with that razor? I thought we was okay. You just told me that I was a good boss. I'm going to try to make this work. It's a double. This it's is a double, double edge razor, so making it work might be a little more difficult. But I'm going to try to make it work. Let me see if I can get this. If you was a convict, you could make it work. Oh, I'm going to make it work. Hold on. What are you doing right there, Rabbit? I'm going to bust Can we the get razor a open. shot of this? I'm going to bust the razor open. So you literally just popped it on the countertop. So I can break these loose, break these little pieces loose. Well, inside. do that one more time. Let's, let's show so, the folks what you were doing. So you got to pop it on the countertop like this. And this one may not work because it's a store-bought razor. But the ones that you get in jail... Will open it enough, break it enough to where you can open it. It'll I saw the other side one. was opening. It will break that. It will break this one loose so that you can open it to get a start on it, and then you can use it, anything to get up in there and break the other ones loose. Okay. Joe, Be you, careful, Rabbit. Joe, I don't want you to cut yourself. Joe, I don't want a, no blood in this meal. Joe, this is a very defective razor. I think it's user error. You know, error. when you buy when you buy razors from now on to do prison cooking with, you've got to remember single blade. Big razor, you know, like you get in jail. Oh, I bought the razors to shave with, though. Yeah. So, well, all right. Well, I'm going to go with that. 
you know, I'm, you know, you're forgiven this time, but don't let it happen again. Rabbit, be careful, man. The way your thumb is moving across them blades right there has got me really nervous. Man, we're being careful, bro. Uh, all I can think about is the last time we opened some mail. We're being knife, careful. Dave's leg. We're being careful, bro. I'm working on this. Okay. Right. God does. Oh, we got the water bubbling in here. Well, that's how hot we need it. Oh, my God, that's smoking. Hot! And I told you. That piece of shit ass right here. You having a little trouble there? I am. You know, we could just use a knife, Rabbit. Well, you know, we could do that. We definitely could do that. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of water here to this. So, yeah. So you... Not a lot. Okay. And knead it. You know how to knead it, don't you, Joe? Like, yeah. like you're massaging it? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't talk about no massage. Look, there's certain words you don't use in prison. Yeah, but you got to massage. Hey, you going you to massage them noodles? You got to massage the bag, Joe. You got to massage it, you know? Well, you definitely don't talk about massaging bags while you locked up, Rabbit. What kind of... Wait a minute, man. Come on. I never said I did it while I was locked up. I'm just telling you how to do it. You got to massage the bag, Joe. I get what you're trying to say, Rabbit. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so... Need a little more water in here? Maybe this razor won't work, and maybe it will. Okay. Rabbit got the razor. All right, I'm massaging the bag, Rabbit. Is that? Am I doing it right? You're doing a fine job, God though. God bless it, man. This just don't sound Is right. Is it hot? Let me see. There, it's a little warm. Let me see what you got here, bro. Let me see what you got here, bro. So Show let's me how add, to massage so the let's bag. Add, so let's add a little more water to it. All right, just a little bit now. You've got to remember. half of what you got. you got to right, remember. That's good right there. Right there. Any time that you're okay. making a prison meal, you definitely need to be sparing with the water as you're adding it to any base that you're creating. You never Other, want too much water. Otherwise, you're going to end up with soup. See, this is how you massage it. Can you do a little? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, Joe, oh, you it's, starting to, it's starting to rise, too. Yeah, it's supposed <laughs> to rise, Joe. It's going to be a pizza base, almost. All right, do you want me to go ahead and start laying this thing out? I do, but the way I want to lay it out, Joe, is in, in two halves, okay? Two halves. I'm going to have a bottom, a base, and then I'm going to take it. the other half of it is going to be the top. So we can cut it. Right. And then use the other half for the top. Most definitely. Can you hand me the refried beans, Joe, please? Yeah, so what are you doing right now, Rabbit? So what I'm doing is I'm taking the beans, the chili beans, and the refried beans, and I'm going to put them in a bowl, mix them together good. We're going to put them in a the microwave. Okay. And get them warmed up. Then we're going to cut the sausage up. And we're going to take one of these bags, maybe this one after we finish or something. And we're going to lay little pieces of sausage out on the bag and put it in there and fry it. Fry the sausage. The sausage fry. Right. I got to be honest with you, Rabbit. Putting, it, putting the water back in the microwave and getting it smoking hot mm -hmm. was, was a smart move. Why, wow, thank you. That's uh, something that I've learned over the years, bro. Well, when you're cooking meals for other people, if you don't cook it the way, that's, the way that they like it or the right way or the way that's satisfactory, then they don't get you to cook no more. And it could cause, uh, cause problems. And it could cause major complications. You just wasted their food? Yeah. Wasted their time, wasted their money? Don't go into prison and think you're going to hustle cooking and you don't know how to cook. All right, I've got that spread pretty good, Rabbit. Yeah, I think you did a really fine job on that, Joe. So we're going to section that off. And once we tear the bag, we're going to cut the bag. Mm -hmm. We're going to open it. And then, <laughs> and then we're going to cut it into two sections. Okay. So this is going in the microwave. This is going in the microwave. Yes, it Now, is. should we let this set up a little bit and then do some more prep work? or We're going to let that set right now. As it is, we can actually slide it off to the side because we got more prep work to do. Okay. That's going to harden a little bit, and that's going to be the base and the top cover for the pizza. All right, what can I do while you're doing that, Rabbit? Should uh... I have, uh, if you want to do something, Joe, you can, or if you're scared of the razor blade, get a knife, I don't care, but we're gonna cut this open. It's been a long time since I've used a razor blade to cut some meat with. There you go, and you can go from there, right? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna use the whole sausage? Uh. I would generally use the whole sausage, but we can use half of it on this. It's not going to be a real big pizza. I say we use the whole thing because we're not going to use, or we can use the whole thing. It's fine with me. I would generally use the whole sausage, yeah. So let me see this blade for just a minute. So we're going to cut this onion. 
Always got to look for the blade. <laughs> Always got to look for that blade. Always got to find out where the blade's at, yes. How many times have you cut something with a, a razor blade and grabbed the wrong side? Yeah, several times. <laughs> and then you got to drop everything you're doing, stop the blood flow, wash your hands, clean up, you know. You can't have your blood in nobody's food. No. Yeah, always got to watch for that, yeah. Cut it like that. Cut it like that. Now, we don't need a whole lot of onion, right? We don't need a whole lot of onion, bro. That's probably all the onion we're going to need right there. Maybe just one more little piece. That should, that might be too much. I but think yeah. that's... But, yeah. Now, so, cutting this with the razor is definitely time consuming. Oh, it's definitely time consuming. It takes a while, yeah. This is very time consuming because when you cut your onion and your pepper and your sausage up, it usually takes like 30 minutes or better to cut everything up and prepare. Yeah. But we ain't got nothing but time because we're locked up. That's it. What can I do while you're cutting this up? Um, How about so, the cheese? So, well, all right. So what we're going to do with the cheese now. Yeah. Tell you what, while you cut this up, I'm actually going to cut up the rest of this with a knife. Okay, that's fine. Just to make it So what quicker. we're going to do here is we're gonna take this cheese. This is good and hot, right? Good and hot? Yeah, yeah. It's good and hot. Okay, cool. So we're gonna take this jalapeno cheese mm -hmm. and mix it in with the beans and the refried beans. Wow. You know, when I cook, I usually would put every ingredient on one at a time. Mm -hmm. It looks better to me personally. It tastes better, but I can see the benefit of doing it your way because, hey, it's all going in the same place. Well, and it's all going in the same place, but when you mix it together, Joe, you get all the flavors at one time. Everything, or you get all the taste in one bite. When you separate the ingredients, you might get a taste of this or a taste of that. You won't get everything. Makes sense. So now we're going to set this up. This is going to set up for approximately five to ten minutes, and it's going to get a little bit stiff, you know? Okay. And that way it, it gives you, a, it gives you a, a better spread for the pizza. Sounds good. While we're doing that, I'm going to chop up a few more pieces of this onion, and then I'm going to work on that pepper. I'm probably going to help you with the pepper just for time purposes. That sounds good to me. But we've shown Case the razor blade technique. Oh, yeah. And we're not in prison anymore, Rabbit, as much as we might think that we are. Yeah, well, I'm in prison every day, bro. But I'm learning how to get out of it, so. Why do you think you're in prison every day? Why? Yeah. Because I'm on probation. And any little thing that happens, no matter what it is, could put me back in jail. So until I get off probation, you know, I'm going to have these crazy feelings, I guess. So this is the onion that's going to be mixed in with the ingredients as well. So we're putting everything in together. Everything's going to be mixed in together. We're going to fry the sausage first. Then we're going to mix the sausage in with it, mix it all up together. And then we're going to use that as a spread for the base. Okay. And we're going to spread it right on the base. So we're making... Then we're going to... Even though this is a pizza that you call it, this Mexican pizza, Mexican it's almost pizza. like a damn ramen noodle sandwich because we're going to have a top to it, a bottom to it, and it's going to look like peanut butter on the inside. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got a point there, but yeah, it's the ingredients, Joe, that make it what it is. I hear you. I guarantee it's going to taste good. I promise you it's going to taste good. All right, Rabbit, this meat is chopped up. Okay, so we'll take the chopped up meat. You we'll want to throw it in, it in this bowl. Tupperware? Yep, we'll put it in the bowl. We'll throw that in the microwave and let it fry up good. And that base should be getting close to being ready, too. Yep, I think it might be. All right, well, you we fry. We open this. I'll cut this. Okay, I'm going to open this. Have that ready. We're not going to use the pickle. We're going to use the pickle juice. That makes it, trust me, that makes it better that way. We're not going to put any pickle in it? I mean, if you'd like to, we can. This is your meal I'm cooking for you, so if you want to use pickle. Oh, this I'll is your use. meal. I, I don't put pickle in it when I make it. I just use the juice. You get okay. the flavor from it. Hey, if that's what the recipe calls for, then that's how we're going to do Definitely it. Definitely what the recipe calls for. So let's put this in the microwave. But I tell you what, cutting these ingredients up with a knife is so much easier. I'm sure. So with that sausage in the microwave right now, one thing that you can definitely hear is that thing sizzling and popping and sounding like, boy, oh, yeah. all that grease and fat is just getting nuked inside of that microwave. Yes, it is. So, Rabbit, let's talk about the bell pepper and the onion real quick. You know, we talk about this all the time on After Prison Show. You get these ingredients out of the kitchen. Most definitely. If you, you don't got no friends that you know from the free world or from being locked up before, 
who work in the kitchen. How does a person who doesn't have the connections go about trying to, to line up some connections? So what you do, the best way that I know how is to find somebody in your pod or in your cell or whoever that does have the connection. You hook up with them, let them know what you want. Eventually, well, at first you're probably gonna pay more money yeah, by getting it through a third party because they're going to shank you. Yeah. After that, after you find out who their connection is, you cut them out you completely. You cut them out completely. Then they come at you with the knife and they say, yo, why you cut me out? Let hey, them, you cut me out. Let them come You cut you. me out. Let them come at I you. needed that extra ramen noodle soup that I was charging you off the top. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know what to tell you about that, bro. You out back now. What you going to do about it? I ain't going to do nothing, though. Shoot, I'm about to go home. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. All right, so rabbit's frying up the meat right now. The base is oh, almost yeah. ready. Oh, I mean, yeah. the base is probably ready. Oh, yeah, she's right now. Yes, sir. Oh, so, yeah. Now, do you do anything with all of that grease? Yeah, the grease goes in the trash. So you don't use the grease? No, we don't use the grease at all. No, the grease is just going to make it more, like, more runny. You know, you don't want that. You're going to get all the flavor from the sausage. The grease is going in the trash. I always use the grease, but that's just me. So all right. We're going to pour the grease in here. Can I go ahead and pop the top on the base? You certainly can. Do you know how to split it? Yeah, down the middle. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a meal that's going to rock your boots. All right. So we're going to take the green pepper, and we're going to add that to the ingredients as well. The base is opened. Minus this little piece right here. Now that looks like, that looks like a good base. So you're mixing everything in there. Everything. Is there everything anything I can do here? Do you want me to cut this in half? I want that cut straight in half. This is, you know, I mean, it don't have to be a straight cut, just as even as you can make it. All right, I'm gonna try. I ain't got a, I ain't got a good eye for this. You're, you're, you got a pretty good artistic eye. You might be able to get that. Okay, is she cut in half? Oh, you said cut it in half? <laughs> yeah, Rabbit's cut in half. <laughs> is she cut hey, in man, half? what you think? I'm stupid over here or something? <laughs> no, man, you got it. You think I'm stupid over here? You got it. You said you cut it in half, I cut it in half. You got it, Joe. You got it. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're going to leave that like okay. this. Okay. Like hey. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this right on up here like this. Bam. Okay, so what we do, we're going to take. This right here, this main ingredient, mm -hmm. which is everything mixed together in there. Looks like absolute vomit. It looks delicious. Can we get a shot of this real quick? This I mean, looks folks, delicious. This is... That looks like Rocky Road ice cream right there. That, that looks like is, something... That looks like what Aggie throws up This every is going to be night. the best meal you've ever had. It looks delicious, Rabbit. I can't... Prison. <laughs> I can't even meal. sit here and lie. So what we do is we take this. Easy killer. I know. I need my card. I don't have my card. So we'll do it like this here. There she goes, cut right in half, yeah. just like you asked me to do. Separate it like that there. Okay, so we need to we need to slide it over just a little bit without tearing it apart. Mmm, tear it apart. Yeah. Tearing it apart got to be real easy. Yeah. I what if we have, just flip it over the top? Cards. Yeah, well, that's where you need the cards. You know, the, the, the ID cards. The ID prison cards. You just put and move it over a little bit, you know. But we that can way, flip when you it. flip it, right, exactly. We can flip it, then slide it, and then. And then, yeah, and slip up in it. What? Yeah. yeah. Rap. <laughs> yeah. This Massaging right balls slipping up in it. I mean, I mean, you know, Joe, hey, I'm not a lot of time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. I, I said that laughing, but you have done a lot of time, and people probably do wonder. I've wondered a couple of times with your tendencies, but yeah, the, well, you know, what I'm saying is. What are you saying? Hold up, man. Wait. <laughs> Hold up, Joe. What hey, look, saying? man, you got it, man. Hold up, man. I was wrong. I apologize. Don't do that no more, man. <laughs> hey, you, listen. You heard me. Don't do that no more, man. Seriously, okay. though, on a more serious note, has anybody ever tried to approach you? <laughs> we'll save that for another time. The time that Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Okay, I'm going to throw this out there. I did have a, a guy. A guy one time come up to me and say, hey, man. It wasn't Dave, was it? <laughs> Dave, I, I can't divulge that, Joe. Guy come up to me and says, hey, man. 
That's a nice knot you got in front of your pants. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's too much. That's... <laughs> I, I was appalled, Joe. Mm. I, yeah, I was like, yeah, you, you got the wrong guy. Yeah. So, Rabbit, if, you ever, if we were ever locked up together and you cooked this for me, I would be questioning uh, what the hell this is. This actually looks like something that you might come would, on. A... You would taste this. You wouldn't question shit. You would just taste this and say, man, you know what? When can you fix me another one? Okay. I mean, I, look, not everything that's good is going to look good. I always try to make eye candy in terms of prison meals. So, look, I'm not saying that it's not going to be good. I'm just, it, you just don't, you, you just go for appearance. Appearance-wise. Appearance. Cody, yeah. one more time over here. I mean, so, let's look at this thing. This so, thing almost looks like so, Nutella. So appearance to you is necessary. Is it the appearance that you eat or the flavor that you eat, Joe? No, you're right. I mean, it is the flavor, but you know what? I'm just going to stop because you're right. It probably is going to be delicious. We're about to find out. Okay, so where are we at right now? In so we're going to take some of these jalapenos. Mm, didn't even rinse the spoon off or nothing. No, I didn't have to. Never going to use those again. So, uh, Yeah, you're right. So we're going to put jalapenos on it all over it. We try not to use too much of the juice. Because I can see it's already starting to run a little bit. Right, it does that. And what we do, we want to use the pickle juice to spray it on this. So you want me to do that? Yeah, so just spread it real lightly, a little bit of pickle juice all around, it, and then we'll just move, you know, yeah. I'm just going to put a, that's it. There you go. So uh, that's going to give you the flavor of the pickle. And you spread it out and just let that kind of sink in to the, yeah, there you go. You got it. Should I put more on there? Uh, let's look. I think it's spreading pretty good. No, I think that's going to be enough. You don't want to overpower everything else in here with a pickle. So Okay. There you go. So now, what we're going to do... We still have salsa. We're going to get this out of the way. We've got ranch. That's, yeah, I, I've got this, Joe. Nah. I was just letting you know. We'll get this out I'm of the way. I'm excited to see what this is going to taste like. We're going to get like. that out of the way. Here's something else that I want to throw out there. We've got all of this additional base left over. I've seen times, and Rabbit, you've probably seen this as well, where guys cook their prison meal, they've got leftover ingredients, and you give it to the guy that doesn't have anything. It's yes. kind of a yes, you do. It's kind of a nicety, one of the very few niceties that will take place while locked up. And people do that a lot. I've done it quite a few times myself, because there's been times when I've been a boss in prison as well. Sure, there's been times where you've not been the boss. There's been times in prison where I drank the red bag of coffee. Did you? My it God, is. Rabbit. That's the worst type of coffee that they sell. So this is salsa. In prison, you get it in the little squeeze packs. Right, squeeze, right. Right, or the little plastic thing, but it's the same concept. Mexican pizza. Mexican pizza, bro. And if you don't like this... You just ain't no coffee. Definitely man. wrong with you. We're going to take this and flip it over. All right, let's make sure uh, Cody grab a good shot of that. We're doing like this here. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I really just... And flip mm. it right on over just like that. And this is and almost finished. So presentation to me is not everything. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. That base looks almost perfect. Yeah. Well, you did a good job on it. Thank you. Yeah. And with the ranch dressing, you also have the squeeze packs of ranch dressing. Now you don't put any more cheese or anything on here? No sir, everything, all the ingredients that you're gonna eat are in there. And you, you, it's the flavor of everything mixed together is awesome. You're about to find out. So my question to you, Rabbit, is why, if we mixed all of the ingredients together, why didn't we put the ranch in as well? Because I usually take the squeeze packs of ranch. See, when you use the squeeze packs of ranch, it's more for a garnish. But right. you get flavor out of it. And it'll make it look. Right, and it makes it comes. look right. You know, so like when this is finished and it's got a nice top, you know, on it, it looks really good. And then the flavor of it rocks your world. Hey, I'm, I'm so all for it. This is my Mexican pizza. I've made this. I can't tell you how many times, and I've never had a person anywhere I've been at that I've made this for not like it. I think it's going to be delicious. I've given you a hard time based upon appearances with this, but... So normally you would take, okay, some cheese crunches. See here, we, 
Oh, oh crackers. We're going to eat it with the crackers. You would eat, you, you would eat it either in a bowl, cut it in sections, and put it in a bowl and eat it, or you just cut it in little squares and eat it with a cracker. So, you can either get a bowl and put some in a bowl and eat it like that, which I have a bowl right here, or you can eat it with the crackers. I'm excited. Like. So let's see if we can cut this sucker into squares. So let's see what you're working with. Well, it's staying together. That's for damn it's sure. It's definitely staying together. All right. So get your bite of that and tell me what you think. Folks, this is Rabbit's Mexican Prison Pizza that looks like a ramen noodle sandwich. Pretty much. That's really good. That's would, really good. Would you have me make that for you again? Yeah. Thank you very much. That's actually really good. I think it's really good as well. You want to eat it? Yeah, I might eat some of it. Of course mm. I am. That's good. That's it really definitely good. looks not the greatest, but it definitely is good. And you can taste the chili. The refried beans, you can taste everything, and it hits you all at once. It's like pow right in the kisser. Yes, it is. That's why I do it like that. And the way you do it, I get that. You do it more for presentation, though, to make it look good as well as taste good. It's kind of messy, though. Yeah, it's a little messy. That's why you either put it in a bowl or you eat it with crackers. Rabbit's prison Mexican pizza, his favorite prison meal. And I got to tell you. I gave you a hard time about the appearance of this thing, the entire video, but it serves its purpose. It's good food. It's quick. It's easy to make. Mm -hmm. It tastes good, and it's damn sure going to get you full. So it's enjoyable. Yeah. That's awesome. Because I would have hate to have made something that you didn't like. That would have really hurt my heart, Joe. Well, you didn't. And again, Rabbit... I'm honored to have you share this with not only me, but with the rest of the APS Army. If you guys are interested in making this for yourself, hey, let us know what you think of this. If you guys make it for yourself, try to use the ingredients that I use if possible and mix it up like I did. And I promise you, it's gonna come out tasting very, very good. This is an amazing prison meal. Well, again, Rabbit, I appreciate you sharing this prison meal with us. And I hope all of you out there enjoyed this as well. And if so, please leave a like and a comment letting us know exactly what you thought about this. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. You ready? Ready. Peace! Peace.